folks, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. I hope that you are having a great day so far. Today's video is going to be a thrift flip. What a good intro, buddy. Thank you. So <laughs> like I said, today's video is going to be a thrift flip video. Um, I do want to just like preface this video by saying a couple weeks ago when I was thrifting for the pink skirt for my last uh, thrifty flip video, I ended up also thrifting a bunch of like thrift flippy ideas. Since we are all sort of in quarantine, I kind of wanted to do a bunch of different like themed thrift flips if that makes sense. So just saying that if you do see footage of me out and about in future videos, it is all pre-filmed. I filmed it at the end of February. So for this specific thrift flip, I have been seeing these pots online and I just absolutely love them. I thought, you know what, like I could probably do that myself um, instead of like paying, you know, whatever it costs, $60 or something. I'm pretty sure that if I just get like the right pot, I, I could do this. So let's head to the thrift store. I like the shape of this. It's really heavy duty. And look at this. This is a really cool vase too. I have lots of really cool vases and stuff here. These are more vases, not plant pots, but this one is pretty killer. Don't love the combo, but there's that one as well. Pretty good to like think of things being other colors because like painting would be very, very simple. Is this, whoa, it's like a candy dish. So I did just want to get some normal uh, plant pots, but this one is really cool too. Love texture on it. I feel like this is a pretty normal pot that we could make work, but I'm really loving the shape of this one. Okay, I feel like I might get these ones. I really like this one. I really just like the shape of these. I feel like we could probably make some interesting stuff with these. Okay, so we're gonna get some 80 grit sandpaper. It's pretty coarse, and that's gonna help the other stuff stick to it a lot better. So we're gonna sand it down. So let's get one of these, it says there's three sheets in it. Okay, so this is the pot that we got. So this was $4.99, which not so bad. Like this is a really heavy duty, really nice pot. So I'm just gonna go ahead, take that sticker off. The first thing we wanna do is we wanna paint this. So I'm going to give it a quick sand. I just wanted to give you guys a little rundown quickly on sandpaper. So this is the sandpaper that I picked. You'll see here it says it's an 80 grit sandpaper. That's very coarse. So 80 grit would be used for stripping. If this said 100, 120, or 150, that would be used more so for smoothing. And then if it said something like 180 or 220, that would be used more so for finishing. So next up, I'm gonna take this bare all-in-one primer and sealer. It's in this massive container because there was a huge sale on primer once. If we just put our paint on top of this, like you can kind of see that this is streaky and you can see the blue through it. I mean, we'd end up using like so much of our good paint, whereas I'd rather just primer, seal it. Just gonna go ahead and throw on one more coat of primer. Okay, so our pot is all dry. So this is the paint that I'm going to be using. It's the paint that I had from the studio. This is what I painted my floor with. So this is a porch and patio paint. So it's like very, very durable. It's also a gloss enamel. So it's gonna be nice and shiny, which I think will be really great for this pot. So I'm just gonna go ahead and um, give this a coat. So here is our finished pot. It's really nice and a little glossy and it's beautiful and I'm very happy with the way that it turned out, nice and white. The next step is I have some of this raffia and my mom actually gave this to me because I wanted to use it to create like, sort of a like wrapping effect around the pot. So I'm gonna suggest that you get a glue gun and have that ready. So we're gonna start off by taking like a really good, solid, regular old piece, and I'm gonna wrap it around. And the reason why we're gonna do that first is because we're gonna, we're gonna tackle a different section of the pot uh, first, and then we're gonna come back to this little like, I don't even know what you'd call it, it's kind of like the neck of the pot. So go ahead and grab another piece. 
I'm gonna turn this around just so it's easier. You're gonna take that piece and you're going to put it in behind this other piece. So you see how I've just like looped that in through it? That's what you're gonna wanna do. You're gonna wanna grab another piece now and just to let you know, you're gonna be doing this along the entire pot. So see how I have made sure that they're lined up on the end and then that the middle is, this is the middle, is right on the edge. Every time you put one of these on, you're going to want to tie it to that top piece. But you're gonna make sure that, again, that it's centered so that you have the same amount on either side. Then you're gonna to wanna to take one piece from each and you're gonna to wanna to tie those together. You're gonna to wanna to tie them, again, like probably about an inch down. So once you have it, you can go ahead and I would double knot that. So you can see now how that's created this like really nice V. Now I'm gonna go along and do that across the whole pot. And then once we're done, we're going to take this little top piece and we're gonna really tighten that in place. But it's nice to have it a bit loose so that while you're trying to do this, can you guys hear Dash? She always moans in the background. Um, it's easier to like get those pieces in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that all the way around the pot. Now remember when we grabbed one of the strings from the other string, that's literally what we're gonna do. So I'm just going around and making new knots. You should make those knots quite tight because you don't want them to come undone. The next row we're gonna do the same thing. We're going to take a knot and we're gonna tie it here. You're always going to be taking one from each set and then attaching them. So that's how we're gonna get this like netting effect around the pot. You know what to do, you just have to keep going. This is actually pretty easy considering it's just knotting. You don't have to do it with the raffia. You could totally do it with something else like jute or something, but I just love the way that this looks. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of the pot and I'll see you in a couple minutes. Now we don't wanna tie this because if we tie it, it will create like a, a knot so that it won't sit flat. So we're actually going to glue gun these down into place. So I'm just cutting off a little piece of it and then I'm going to put some glue. And you remember you wanna pull pretty darn tight because you want the raffia to be tight on the side of the pot. And then we're just gonna glue that into place and we're gonna go the whole way around and do this. Okay, so once you are done, you should have something that looks like this and we are going to take some of this raffia and I have like a couple strands that are kind of like bigger than the other ones. And what we're gonna do is wrap it around the top because I think that that kind of makes it look a little bit more pulled together. And I'm just tying that in a knot. Y'all, not to toot my own horn, but this is sick. Also, I've seen raffia like at thrift stores in like the bag section, like the crafts little bag section all the time. So if you guys are looking to do this um, after, you know, once we can go out again, um, you should check there because I've seen it there like a hundred million times. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really love my new pot. I'm very excited about it. And um, other than that, have a great day and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.